Good morning, my name is Nick Sigala. I will be reading today's devotional from Sarah Young. It's pretty awesome. And then I'll be sharing a scripture out of Matthew um, with you. The other two scriptures that are associated with this that I encourage you to read are Psalm 42.7 and Psalm 95.1 and 2. Today's devotional is for August 8th, 2016. And it reads, I speak to you from deepest heaven. You hear me in the depths of your being. Deep calls unto deep. You are blessed to hear me so directly. Never take this privilege for granted. The best response is a heart overflowing with gratitude. I'm training you to cultivate a thankful mindset. This is like building your house on a firm rock where life's storms cannot shake you. As you learn these lessons, you are to teach them to others. I will open up the way before you one step at a time. <laughs> so true. So Matthew seven twenty four and 25 reads, this is our Savior, Jesus Christ speaking. He says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. I have a testimony in building a house upon a rock. I let I, I could go into my past all day long, but let's just say that it wasn't pretty um, because of choices that I made. Um, I fell in love with money, and I chose to... I don't know if you ever heard the term, but I chose to be a paper chaser. And that's what I did, is I hustled and, and I tried to make money and, and I, I justified it with my desire to do the right thing with the money, but my desire to get the money was a little bit more. Um, and that's a sandy foundation to be on. It really is. Um, and I felt the impact of of not being built upon the rock, upon the foundation. As I was able to let that desire go and to be thankful for what I did have, I um, I was extremely blessed. I can remember it was January 2014. I was 30 years old and I was tired of it. Um, I needed a job. I needed to work and do it for the right reasons. So I prayed to my father in heaven and I said, Heavenly Father, I'm going to I'm going to work. I'm going to do the right thing. And I'm not going to do it to make money. I'm going to do it because that's what you require of me to be diligent and to work, not to be lazy and slothful. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to work for you. I don't care where the next place that, that, that hires me, I'm going. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> I was humbled because I couldn't find a job anywhere. But Long John Silver's hired me. I was 30 years old and, and a very proud person because of things that I thought <laughs> I was worthy of having. But I was there for a few weeks um, before another job was kind of thrown my way, which changed the course of my life but I, I went there and I remember after my first paycheck for two weeks I made 280 bucks and I thought man how am I going to support my family on this it's okay Heavenly Father I told you I was going to work for you so I am going to work for you I'll make do here's your 10% I'll figure it out I know you've got me so a friend of mine called me up said the Lord told me that he, he gave me an impression that I should talk to you about a job. What are you doing? And mind you, this was one of my old employees when I was a store manager for Starbucks. He was one of my employees or assistant store manager at the one on. Anyway, he offered me a job, which took me from 280 bucks a week. I'm sorry, every two weeks to over 600 bucks a week. And I thought, okay. That's much more like it. You know, there were some weeks that I was making a thousand bucks. It was being a contractor, hooking up satellites and stuff. Um, 
but I never, I, I stayed thankful 100% and I'm still grateful for what I have now. Um, whenever we exercise our faith and our gratitude in our Heavenly Father, I'm not saying that somebody's going to call you with a job. You know what I mean? That's what happened to me. That's one example. And, and, and he works in different ways for all of us. But let me tell you right now that when you trust in the Lord, when you have faith, when you let his deep communication from heaven touch you deep into your soul and actually let him go to work with you, he will start to mold you into the person that you were meant to be. And it is such a beautiful transformation. I am so grateful for his presence in my life. And, and there's nothing that I want more. Now, mind you, the adversary, Satan, He's going to see that happening and he's going to try to really beat down on you, which is why the Savior says the rain descended, the floods came and beat upon that house. All right. So I'm telling you that story, right? January of 2014, February of 2014, my brother was murdered simultaneously. My wife's husband tried to take full custody of of her children their children and um, this is all while i'm starting this new job right um, trying to do the right thing satan doesn't like it when you are on the path like he'll let you read your scriptures and quote scripture all day as long as your life does not reflect the teachings of the savior but once you start living what you believe like hell breaks loose. I guarantee you that. But as the Savior said, be a wise man. Build your house upon that rock. Because when you do, you know, not even the gates of hell will prevail against you. They'll try. I bless you to physically and spiritually overcome the fiery darts of the adversary today. Recognize the Holy Spirit in your life. His love for you is so much deeper than I think you realize, probably deeper than I even realize, you know, we're all on a journey. And it's my prayer that as you go through your journey, your eyes be opened to the spiritual as well as the physical things around you. Build your house upon the rock of Jesus Christ. Study his words, feast upon his words, follow his example love one another love the lord your god with all your heart you don't have to be perfect just try to be better and as you try you will be strengthened and you will have power today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.